Welcome, James Kekona here, and today we're gonna talk about how to beat Market the Fell. It's been seven months since the game was released. Back then, this big guy took players around the world by surprise for being way too hard for a first boss. Now we have more experience with this game, but it's still gonna be a very tough foe if you're just beginning this game. First of all, let's talk about preparation. Unlike games like Sekiro for example, in this game you can level up your character. And for this boss, you wanna get up to at least level 25 to beat him comfortably. In the last video, we talked about how to overpower your character at the beginning of the game. I'll leave a link in the description if you missed that video, but if you're already prepared, let's jump straight in. There's two ways to beat Mr. Margit, the easy way and the hard way. Let's talk about the hard way first so we can get used to his movements. First of all, hold up your shield at the beginning of the battle. The shield we got last time has physical negation, so this will protect you from most of his moves, even if you haven't memorized his moves. Just remember, when you hold up your shield, your stamina won't recover as fast as it should. Mr. Margit is a good teacher, who will teach you how stamina works in this game. This move that he did at the very beginning, the throwing knife, you can always dodge his second attack if you roll to the left. When he jumps up into the air, this is your biggest opportunity. Roll forward and bash, bash, dodge backwards, because sometimes he attacks. His big jump can be exploited for both his first phase and his second phase. Just roll forward. Remember to dodge backward after you attack. Another big opportunity is when he does this movement. If you're far away, he's gonna dash into you. Roll forward, bash. His second swing is a bit delayed, but if you dodge right before he touches the ground, you can get behind him. If you're too close, the timing is different, but it's still an opportunity. He also does this move for Phase 1 and Phase 2. Another opening is when he does the uppercut. Uppercut and roll, bash, hold up your shield. He also does this move for Phase 1 and 2. Now the second phase, when he brings out his big hammer, you get another free shot. Always remember, a big jump is an opportunity. Roll, slash. Oh, this combo here is dangerous. If he does two quick slashes at your shield, always dodge diagonally right, or else he'll break your stamina. But if you remember that, that's another opportunity. Mr. Margit has a lot of combos, and there's another dangerous combo that's unique to the second phase. He didn't use it in this battle, but if you're overwhelmed, just keep mashing the dodge button. One or two hits aren't gonna kill you. Now that we know his movements, let's take a look at the easy method. The easy method is simple. We're just gonna summon the jellyfish that we got in the previous video, and also summon Roger right here. Once the battle begins, summon the jellyfish. The jellyfish is great because it's super tough, it's got a long range attack, and it can poison Margit to death. Roger is gonna die immediately, but jellyfish is gonna survive until the second phase. All we have to do is just play defensively, until he's distracted by your friends. Once he looks away, slash away from his backside. Get ready to become the first backstabbing Elden Lord.
Jellyfish wins. See, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything. All I did was keep Market busy so he doesn't kill my jellyfish. Alright, so that's how to overcome the first big challenge in Elden Ring. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in other games and stuff.